All right, so here he is, one of, if not the greatest, to ever put on a pair of four-ounce gloves. John Bones Jones. Daniel, this is the only man who has ever solved your game in a mixed martial arts setting. Johnny Bones back for more tonight. For me, I understand how special Jones is because he is the guy that's been able to beat me twice. But when you go down and you look at the resume, you start with Shogun Hua, then you have the Rashad Evans and the Rampage Jackson, then you have myself, Alexander Gustafson. It is a list of Hall of Famers that not many people can match when they say match your resume against mine. John Jones is a special talent, and he has shown that every time he has fought the very best the UFC has to offer. You put it well. In terms of the strength of schedule, I think he has the best resume of any UFC champion of all time. And, of course, as he makes the walk here tonight, he puts that status on the line yet again. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Both fighters are 33 years of age. Ngannou weighed in at 250 pounds. Jones will have a one inch reach advantage. And now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a look see do fighter, only a professional record of 26 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 225 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, presenting the challenger, John Bones Jones! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 17 wins, three losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Francis the Predator and God. All right, this is from the UFC Championship. I want you to be with your hands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. was not regulated in New York. When that legislation came down, the UFC came strong, and we've been on the president. John, we kicked the door in. Yes. If you're going to open, if you're going to say you're welcome in MSG, the UFC is coming. And every time we have gone there, we have brought phenomenal fight cards and some of the biggest moments in UFC history. Now, if the Knicks can just get their act together. The Knicks will never get their act together, and I'm okay with it. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed. 
stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Ooh, blocks the shot. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, you can hear the thwack from here as he lands another leg kick in DC. Now we're seeing visible damage as that leg starts to redden up. And now you start to see the damage. And now you start to see the limping of the opponent. Watch as he gets kicked to the leg, he's turning away. He can't even get any pressure on his front leg. That's a perfect scramble right there. Beautiful transition. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Hook lands, and his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Jones. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Francis and God. Nice kick out there. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. Blocks the shot. Oh, huge left hand from Francis Ngannou. Every time he loads up and extends, you feel like the fight might be in? Yeah, absolutely. And the whole crowd holds their breath. Right. You hear a big exhale. Every time Francis loads up to finish a fight, you hear the crowd. They hold the air in yeah. because they're ready to explode. That's the type of performer, that's the type of fighter that Francis is. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Single follow tie now. Effective strike there by Jones. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, that straight punch knocked his head in the wrong direction. Really putting his opponent on notice. And that one certainly found the target. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Mm -hmm. All right, well, the crowd enjoyed those five minutes. DC take us through some of the highlights from that previous one. Face punching at its best. Ha. He loaded it up, he threw it straight, threw it long, and over and over, that punch found the target. It allowed him to really dictate the pace of that round. All right, here we go with our next round. His opponent is going to need some Motrin later tonight. How about all those strikes to the head he observed in the previous round? He is not moving his head. He's trying to walk forward. He's a pressure fighter, sure, but he's trying to walk forward with no head movement, and he is paying the price for it by getting hit over and over in the face. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. Just misses with the straight right. on that beautiful takedown. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it, too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep a half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safest position, especially for a wrestler. Oh, hammer fist here by Jones. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're this opponent. So we lean on the numbers here. 47 total strikes have landed for John Jones. And still on the right side of 50%, the land rate 51% here against Francis Ngannou. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal. Now, he's masterful from here. Oh, he went to a single switch to a high cross. Oh! oh. He flipped him over the top. What a fantastic takedown. Welcome to the Cormier Express. <laughs> Jones is going for an arm here. Oh, wow. Here. And this might 
might just be a matter of time. There's the tap. He's done. He's done. What a performance. Yeah, that is high-level grappling right there as he gets the win tonight here by way of submission. And he bided his time there. He stayed patient, waited for an opening, and then when it was there, he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight. Uh, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. All right, so there is the consensus baddest man on the planet, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion, your winner tonight by way of submission. He leaned on the grappling. That was the path of least resistance, and that is the man they are all chasing for UFC heavyweight gold. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano is going to stop for this contest at four minutes, three seconds, round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out. So how about it, there is a new baddest man on the planet, the new UFC heavyweight champion, and he didn't just come in here and win on points here tonight, he submitted the defending reigning UFC heavyweight champion, takes the belt into his corner, and this is just an amazing moment for fighter 